Hey guys, you are tuning in to Nerder8. I am your host, Ben. Hi there, and whether you love it or hate it, we're taking our first look at the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Before I go any further, this is PC gameplay filmed at ultra settings with a field of view of 80. Treyarch's first serving of Black Ops was an interesting one. Reworking the perk system, slowing the game's traditional pace down, and adding some quirky new features which yielded some interesting results. And Treyarch have returned with the same attitude, flipping up unlocks, kill streaks, menus, you name it, but it still predominantly feels like Call of Duty. On my first few games of Black Ops 2, I was sensing an arcade like vibe. The combination of bright saturated colours, the reworked UI, cool font choice, and the environment make it feel almost like a comic book. The futuristic setting feels cool in multiplayer. I was worried the sci fi elements of a shooter set in the future may come off cheesy, but it actually is a refreshing change over the present day washed out military setting we've been subjected to in previous titles. Black Ops 2 has an impressively varied set of maps from the word go. Treyarch have really put effort into making maps feel legitimate, but more importantly look really pretty. When you reach a vantage point at height, looking across the horizon is a pleasant and insightful experience. The environment artwork has done wonders for creating engaging gameplay in the multiplayer. While visually the maps are pleasing, I can't say I've got on with some of the design. Some maps really favour certain spots and tend to have elevated rooms with good vision across the map, which has encouraged players to camp. But for the most part I enjoy 70% of the maps, and once people have worked out all the nooks and crannies I should have an easier time. The weapons, perks, items and game modes are incredibly standard. Nothing very surprising which is reassuring, but also a bit disappointing. I got on quite well with killstreaks, they felt balanced and not that easy to earn. I don't really like the token system for unlocking weapons, items and perks. I feel reluctant to spend them in case the item is awful and I just don't want to use it. So far Black Ops is a step in the right direction for the COD franchise. It's challenging with fast enough pacing to keep it interesting, the new additions and reworks have been a success. If you are left with a sour taste in your mouth from Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2 might just be the perfect remedy. So that was my first look at the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Make sure you visit nerdarray.com for the latest and greatest in geek, including a full Black Ops 2 review in a few days. Also check out our Facebook and Twitter communities to keep up to date on everything Nerdarray. That will be in the description and happy fragging guys!